More on the way from John John. Slides in under the hood. That Jeep yellow jersey, bright yellow through the barrel, and he'll just lay one down for the crowd. Especially with the amount of time, it looks like one wave is going to be in. Well, John's making a move here. This is it. Just over a minute to go. John Florence tucks in. He's deep inside this barrel. Can he find his way through? He does. He may need more. Drives down the line, goes to the air, stops the reverse. Ferociously trying to get back to the takeoff zone. John Florence, meanwhile, long oh. in an absolute bomb. He'll find his way through. Hands behind the back. He had an eight point ride. The true specialist can get into these, you know, monsters. And here we go, John again. Just finding room to move out here. Ducks in. Should find his way through this one. The way spins. He re emerges. And again, throws the hands behind the back. So a number of incredible rides for Florence. He checks the clock. See that sees that it's only three minutes and 20 seconds to go. It feels like Zeke Lau's run on the championship tour is going to come to an end. Another amazing look at it there from Florence. Pete Mel getting chatty with John in the lineup. It'll surf better against guys that are notoriously good out at Pipeline. Speaking of that, John John Florence pulls in under the hood. Another section. It got messy, but he had so much control. For that Pizel surfboard, he will come out free. Here at Pipeline, rolling in. We'll start things off with John John. Looking at backdoor, driving through another section. Florence gets the exit. Right and. Oh, Dave, there's a replay of John's wave. Pretty crazy start there, going over an impossible section. He made it out. Strider, what did you see from your backdoor angle? Wild stuff, view from over here. So we sit, shifted position so we could look into the barrel at backdoor. John, you know, identified that it was a meaty section, got was in the pipe, and then still heating up. He just got a 9.07. Take us through. This kid's on fire. You know, it's once once he starts, it's it's done. It's a wrap. And you can see the fire in his eye, man. This kid wants a pipe master trophy. Against John John. John John drops into this one, pulls up on the rail. The spit comes out, and so does John John. <laughs> wow, I can't wait to see these replays. John John thinking priority. It's a radical barrel. Here we go with John John BL. Woo! A more critical takeoff, a more critical wave. Obviously, the second wave of the set looked a little bigger, looked a little gnarlier, and I see the advantage going to John John Florence on that opening exchange. One more look at slow motion of the backhand barrel riding technique of John John Florence. Here we go, both guys having a look. John John wants it. He wants back door, pulls in. It's a trainer, a spin, <laughs> and an exit for John John Florence. Wow! Oh, and hurt. can throw the hack in there, right in the shallow reef section. Look at John John. Falls out of the room, super, super late, just squeaks under that. And you can see the amount of water that spits out of it. That turn, I'm sorry, that does it for me as much as the tube ride did. And John John Forrest doesn't look like a massive guy, but the power he puts in, so deep. And then all of that power spitting out of the way. And watch this turn, folks. That was gold. That's as good as it gets. Um, power, class, style, everything you could ask for in an amazing ride right there on display for the two-time champ. Yeah, the combination of a searing maneuver and a deep barrel and an at pipe. John John, doing this for love. Traveling and coming out. Without the priority, another great ride. Throwing away a 7-5 already. Oh, lines of set coming through here. He hitting the reef at Ehukai. John John on the turn. Here he goes, slides down the face, little sliding on the bottom, marks himself perfectly and gets the exit, finds that door out after a big stick behind him. So fun. Think how hard to pull up on that wave too, to avoid that lip and outrace it before it lands on his head too, it's just so impeccable. You watch him and then he just kind of thrusts up. Just masterfully done and this timing right here, Sneak out just in time. Heat number nine of the opening round, opening day of the Billabong Pro Pipeline. Eight minutes on the clock again. Let's enjoy this. And extra section, he's out. Where John has that ability to slow things down, just take every aspect of it in and, and really um, just adjust to what the wave is doing. And that adjustment there, evident in the slow motion, to get that bonus section on this elongated pipeline wave. John John just, he actually put it locked in 8.5 for this wave, which is one of the highest scores we've seen today. Watch out, John John Florence. Screenshot moment here. There's the capture. There's the poster for your wall. Iconic. Insane. Iconic. Come on. It was dark inside that wall. <laughs> We're still 
that is by mine. John John just using his entire frame to slow down, put the brakes on. Look at the way that that white water is exploding above the wave. So well done. And, you know, just to manage his speed in that, because that wave is just trying to push you out into the shoulder and just maintaining his composure. Love the way that he pulls under this hood, though. He knows this little ledging section is coming. He reads it so well. That wave is thick. It's heavy. Even though he's a rookie, uh, John knows he's been in enough events, especially here at Pike, to be able to put together a technical feat and get the best barrels of the day. And, just make a magic, magic moments with John Dunford. Oh, back-to-back back waves. He's applying the pressure to